Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to test if a list element exists in a list with the R programming language. So in this video I'm going to show you three examples and all of these examples are based on the list that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that a new list object appears at the top right of RStudio. And we can also have a look at this list by running line five of the code. And then you will see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our list consists of three list elements, which are called numbers, letters, and triple X. So let's assume that we want to check whether the list element numbers exists in our list. Then we can do that by applying line eight of the code. So in this line of code, we are specifying first the name of the list element for which we want to search. Then we are using the in operator. And then we are checking whether this name numbers is existing in the names of my list. So if you run this line of code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, the logical value true is returned. So this actually means that the list element numbers is contained in our list. Now let's assume that we want to check if the list name something else is existing in our list. Then we can apply exactly the same code as before in line eight of the code, but this time we have to specify the name something else. So if you run this line of code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, the logical value false is returned. And this means that the list element something else is not existing in our list. So this is basically how to check whether a list element exists in a list. However, there are also different alternatives how you can check the existence of list elements. And in the second example, I want to show you how to check whether a list element exists with the isNull function. So in line 12 of the code, you can see that we are applying the isNull function. And within the isNull function, we are specifying the name of our list. And then we are trying to subset our list for the list element numbers. Yeah, and then um, in front of the isNull function, we are specifying this bang operator, which is basically checking whether the list element does not exist. So if you run this line of code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, the value true is returned. So in other words, the list element numbers is contained in our list. Yeah, in the final example, in example three, I want to show you how to check whether a list element exists with the exists function. And within the exists function, we simply need to specify the name of our list element for which we want to search and the name of our list. So if you run this line of code, you will see that again in the bottom, at the bottom in the RStudio console, the logical value true is returned. So in this video, I have shown you three different alternatives on how to search for list elements in lists in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content and the R programming code of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.